Sam. I'm making this quick video. I'm here in Kauai, beautiful Kauai. Lovely ocean behind me. And I'm making this video because we have a situation now with um, Mars being combust. Combustion is a very important concept in Vedic astrology. It shows when the planets get close to the sun. And in particular, Mars, when he goes combust, he can be combust for several months. Mars is going to be combust until August of this year, to the middle of August. It's because um, the relative speed of the Sun and Mars are really not that different once they're moving direct. This is why. Um, the combustion degrees of Mars is 17 degrees, so whenever Mars is in 17, within 17 degrees of the Sun, it's called combust. And Combustion is when the planet is on the opposite side of the Sun, astronomically, and so it's important to know what combustion does. First of all, the most the most salient kind of um, feature is that it's sort of what's called burned up or lost in the rays is what it's said to be in Western astrology. That's what it says in um, what's called te uh, Tetrabiblos, the Western astrological text, at least the main one. It's said to be lost in the rays. So the planet is on the opposite side of the sun from the Earth, so it's furthest away from the Earth and its energy is going through the sun. Now, one of the things that Western astrology says, I'm sorry, Vedic astrology says in the text is that it's um, said to be kopa, which, is, which means angry, or I tend to look at it as uh, frustrated. There's a frustration with a, with a combust planet. Now, it can create like a health problem, especially if Mars rules your ascendant, um, you know, um, and there's a, there's a sort of a depletion um, and, a, and an excessive what's called agony or fire with the planet. So again, especially if you're ruled by Mars, that would be an Aries or Scorpio person, you may find that your energy is, uh, is uh, depleted and you have to watch getting depleted between now and August. Um, but in another sense, the planet gets quite empowered because it's being blasted by the sun, which means it's behind the sun, so its energy is coming through the sun. And it's, um, so it, it can actually really empower the more um, spiritual part of the planet. What I mean to say is that the sun is burning off the impurities of the, wor the worldly nature of the planet itself. So, this is what the sun does, it purifies, it cooks things, and, it, and its nature is to purify, and so when something becomes combust, and it's behind the sun, the sun is purifying its rays. Again, this is why the sun is also called a malefic, or it's a cruel planet because of its tendency to burn, but everything has a positive outcome. Nothing is done to damage it. So you want to understand that. So any planet that gets combust becomes purified at that time. And so Jupiter will be combust later in the year. Mercury and Venus go combust quite a lot, especially when they go retrograde. But this Mars combust is going to be purifying our relationship with the use of our will, the use of our anger. And it's purifying anger to show the truth in it. Now what typically happens, Mars is the Mars has the widest combustion degree because Mars is actually the, obviously the most angry. And when you consider that the combust planet is Kopa or angry and frustrated, actually this is one of the deep tadi of Ashkas. And when you consider that, that, that the combust planet is Kopa or angry, it makes sense that Mars is the one that's the most easily combustible or the most combustible. And so we're purifying our anger, which means we may be getting angry. We may have a short temper. We may have a short fuse and have a real sensitivity to others trying to dominate us. Because this is what Mars is, 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 the, is the capacity and the power to fight for ourselves and to not be dominated and to not be beaten up or, you know, run over. It's important that we are able to defend our territory and that's what Mars gives us, a healthy Mars. And so, again, what happens when a planet is combust, that's any planet, is there's a sensitivity to the use of that thing. That thing is a karika. Like for Venus, Venus is a karika of respect. So when Venus is combust in a natal chart, we have a sensitivity to being disrespected. 
Mercury is about is about communication. When he's combust, we have a sensitivity to our to, to uh, the words we use and how well we how well we communicate and how well others hear us. Um, and Jupiter is the karaka of hope and inspiration. And when he's combust, we have a doubt about what inspires us. And maybe those who have tried to inspire us. Um, they've also tried to dominate us, so we have a sensitivity to that. Saturn is about hard work. When he's combust, we have a kind of sensitivity about being asked to work hard, um, a sensitivity about, you know, um, effort and, you know, the feeling that we're already working hard enough and don't ask me to do anything else, that sort of thing. So with Mars, it's literally about fighting and about the use of our will and, and this sensitivity that others are trying to dominate us or control us. And what happens when the planet is combust is we act out, often inappropriately because of this hypersensitivity to it, and that acting out actually embarrasses us, makes us look stupid, makes us feel stupid. Hence the, hence the combustion and the, and the sort of red-faced quality. You know, when you're embarrassed, you, you have this, this rush of fire, this rush of embarrassment where you get red and you make a fool out of yourself and you have to humble yourself and you know because of your embarrassment this purifies that energy so you may find like one thing that I've noticed is when people have combust planets in their natal chart it's often something that they get embarrassed by or they humiliate themselves by over over defending that boundary like with Venus a person may have a hypersensitivity to being disrespected so what happens is they disrespect others and embarrass themselves and go, God, I'm sorry, I really disrespected you. And this is this kind of angry sensitivity is what teaches us the higher quality of that thing. This is how the sun purifies that energy when he, when he combusts it. So when people have combust Mars in their natal chart, you'll often see they push their agenda very strongly and embarrass themselves because we look weak when we defend a kind of shadow enemy when we're you know when we're in defense of something that's not actually in need of defending we look stupid and so you may find yourself with a short temper looking stupid and embarrassing yourself um, for the next couple months be careful of that because Mars combust is going to be hypersensitive and he's in Aries for, you know, Aries and then Taurus and then Gemini for a lot of that, which are signs of force. And then when he's in Gemini, of course, it's a sign of, of language. So we need to be careful not to make a fool out of ourselves as we defend boundaries that don't need to be defended um, for the next several months. Um, so this is the nature of combust planets in general. They're said to be copa or angry and frustrated and they're being purified by the sun, and the way the sun purifies them is by creating this kind of cosmic sunburn, this kind of sensitivity to the use of that energy, the planet as a karaka. Again, if you're ruled by Mars, it could also show where you have to watch your health, your physical health, especially Scorpio and Aries people. And, um, but in general, the planet is getting really pushed out by the nature of the sun, so it can really empower us in another way if, if we if we don't act out in the lower quality, let's say, of Mars, it's also a time of enormous discipline. Because again, the Sun is purifying Mars. So on a, on a more cosmic level, rather than fighting external enemies and trying to win in that way, it can really purify that outer expression so that it becomes a very strong focus um, internally, especially as we can become more disciplined and choose the good and choose to put into practice what we know is right rather than argue about it or get into battles over it or you know force our will on others um, as a way to um, establish some external control. So ponder these things and um, one more look at beautiful Kauai. It might not be totally in focus but it's lovely here.